Hi guys, welcome back to Snark and Spark. This is Emily, and as you can see, I'm doing something different. <laughs> um, hopefully this works out, and if you're seeing this video, it means the footage worked, and my microphone worked, and my editing software worked. <laughs> um, so yeah, I wanna try and do my first stitch with me. I don't want it to be too long. Um, I really am aiming just for about half an hour. I do have a lot of other things I need to get done, but I wanted to try this out. I wanted to play with my new setup. I've got some new things. Um, I obviously can't show you them because I'm using them, but I have, hello, I've got a brand new camera that I have hooked up here. Um, I've got a stand, that's what this is, that is holding it up above my head. And this guy right here, I don't wanna tap it, but this is a new microphone and I'm really excited. Um, my husband is incredibly supportive and we went shopping this week and he was like, listen, since you're gonna continue filming and doing this, you need better quality stuff. So here we are, <laughs> bless him, he is amazing. So I wanna do a little stitch with me because it is January 23rd, it is Saturday, January 23rd, and it is the first 24 hours of cross stitch marathon weekend. So I am definitely participating in it this year. I am team sleep though, because between a child and three pets and a husband, I need sleep. But I am still trying. I did stitch a little bit last night. I'm gonna pull up my timer here in a second, but I really only got a little over an hour in, almost two hours, but not not quite. So I wanna put in some chunk of time here with you guys today. I will continue to stitch as the weekend goes on. Um, but yeah, hopefully this goes really well. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so it is 11.30 here, my time. Um, I do have a cup of coffee. <laughs> On my mug, I've got water over here, you can't see it. Um, got my little planner um, with my pen and the highlighter I like to use in that planner right now because the color theme is definitely purple. Got my like Oort jar. And then over here, it's kind of off camera, is a bunch of bobbins that I'm using for this project. Um, I've pretty much dumped them all out and have kept them next to me because there are so many color changes in such short segments. So it's easier for me to just kind of have them all out. And I was very much like a very faithful to the pattern stitcher where I would start here and I would change every single color. But I just feel like that really bogged me down and it really got me annoyed so last night I really started doing more of like by color and so like I finished up this and then I it's the same color over here so I brought it over here and it's the same as the this uh, like coffee cup and then there's no more of this like blue violet um sorry the light is I have great light but it's also really bright um this is 333 Ooh. Okay, it doesn't want to focus. That's okay. But it's done, and so I have like a pile of bobbins over here where I have actually, I don't have to use those colors anymore, so I don't want to spend time with them in my pile getting confused. Of like, why is this bobbin still over here? Fun, fun enough though, I have this random bobbin that has a sticker on it. My window is really bright. It has 844 on it. I have no idea what whip this goes to. <laughs> it was sitting on my tray, on my cart. I don't know, I'll figure it out. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's enough chit chat. Except I'm gonna talk this whole time, which I'm a little nervous about, but we'll see. Um, let me take another drink of coffee.
Okay, so let's just dive in. I gotta kind of figure out where I was. Okay, I just have a blank needle on the back. So where am I at? Let's look at my pattern. Um, okay, I think I was finishing up with this blue. Or I was gonna do this yellow because that's this yellow right here and I can see that I've left a strand, but then I've also left a strand of that blue. So who knows what I was thinking last night? Uh, we'll just do the blue because I just, I don't like leaving this little square blank. So this is 996. And I've just got like a really small leftover piece and I mean, that's only four stitches, so I'm not worried. Um, really, so my goal for this video, this is where I'm at currently with this project. I'm at 3,795 stitches. I need to reach 3,880 stitches for the School of Magical Stitches prompt. Um, I chose to do option B, which was to put 500 stitches in two of my oldest whips, and I, so I am so close, I just need, what, 95 <laughs> stitches, and then I can put this away, and then I'll pull out Australian Dragon. So hopefully, I can get that done with you guys. If not, that's okay, but that's the goal. And I think I've explained. I like to use handheld um, tally counters. I find them very, very satisfying. I color code them to my projects. This project is for me and it's for books and I love books and orange is my favorite color. So I paired it with the orange tally counter. Um, it is just so incredibly satisfying to me. I like the way it feels. I like the click it makes. You will hear that when I click later, but um, yeah, okay. On my end, it's been about seven and a half minutes and I haven't started stitching at all. So this is enough rambling. I don't know why I'm so nervous to do this. I think it's because I did like a test stitch with me a couple nights ago, um, right after we bought the equipment. Um, I set up my camera and I did, a, it was before I had bought this stand, this overhead stand, um, and I had it just like mounted, the camera mounted to my computer, which is in front of me. And then I tried to like film just to kind of play with it. And then I have, I downloaded this new editing software and I was also really nervous about trying to do that because I've never really edited anything before. Not like using legitimate software, like actual made for video editing software outside of just like the YouTube editing stuff. You can tell I'm nervous because I'm just like talking in circles. Um, so I did a really quick, like maybe 15 minute film with me and the footage was, oops, was upside down and <laughs> yeah, like I, and I put it into my software and then I like got overwhelmed because I've never, like I said, I've never used it before and I didn't even know how to just like cut out a little clip. I was just... It's just titled Practice Project because it's really just a way for me to get comfortable with the editing software. And I I don't know why, but it just overwhelmed me. So anyways, this is for reals <laughs> this time because I've got the stand. Um, I've got my mic hooked up and I didn't mean to do that. I'm distracted. That's okay. And yeah, and I, it's 24 hours. Oh, I should start my timer. Whoops. It's 24 hours of cross stitch. So resume. I told you I'm only, I still have 22 hours left. But yeah. But it's 24 hours of cross stitch and I was like, what better time to actually try and do a stitch with me 
than during this time when a whole bunch of us are stitching and trying to get a total of 24 hours of cross stitching. So yeah, I'm, I'm here, I'm excited. And let's just see how far we get. No pressure, no rush, I'm just chilling out, talking. Um, I do have some questions in front of me that I thought might be fun to um, answer. I have, I found this thing that is like 357 some odd questions of like, get to know me. And it's a comprehensive list. Um, I am not gonna try and answer all of them right now. Ooh, that stitch is really tight. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of go through some of them. And obviously I don't want to go through every single one of them. Because like the first question is what is your full name? Like, whatever. It's not that interesting of a name. But I thought it would be um, fun to answer a few of those. So you guys could get to kind of know me a little bit better. Maybe if I do more Stitch With Me, I'll do some like story time episodes, but for right now I just want to um, do a get to know me. I have this left, but I don't want to save it, so it's just going to go in the jar. Bye! <coughs> Sorry, I'm just like congested. My chest is congested right now. Especially since um, if you're new here and you don't want to go back and watch my first video, which I don't blame you because the quality was crap and my lighting was crap and I was so incredibly nervous. Um, I did the know your needle worker tag, but you can get to know me better now. <laughs> so like here, see like I'm going to mark these four stitches and just hopefully you understand why this is so satisfying to me. Okay, here we go. I love that. I can't, <laughs> I can't help it. And I've got the pattern over there on my stitchy cart next to me. That way I don't mess up and, you know, show a pattern and get in trouble. That is the last thing I want to do. Okay. Let's pull back out this yellow since I've got it out. I need to do some back stitching with this. And this is 743. Yeah. I don't remember what size needle this is, but it's huge. Like the eye of this needle is massive. <laughs> this is still definitely one of my like beginner pieces. It's on like 14 count, maybe 16 count Ada. And the holes are huge on this Ada. And I have this really big needle. And even though I have smaller needles now and I'm much more comfortable, I've just kept it. It's kind of a nice little reminder of like, how uncertain I was when I first started really stitching and if I look show you the back you will see how meticulous the back is like down here and then as I got up here and I've because I've been stitching this for a couple years now you can see how more how comfortable I've gotten with my stitching and so then like, I've carried threads and it's just it's not as neat I was so I don't want to say neurotic but I was like so intent on making this perfect so like everything yeah <laughs> not anymore okay so both of these books have two little back stitching lines and I'm just gonna do that real quick I hate saving back stitching for last I would much rather do it as I finish a section than having to go back and do more so that's what we're doing where does this start on this? Right beneath it. Okay. Whee. Okay. Sorry. Back to these questions. I haven't even asked myself. The, well, if I told you the first one was, what is your full name? Um, I will tell you my first and my middle name. My first name is Emily, which you guys know. And my middle name is Joe. J-O. 
Sweet and simple to the point. Um, my mom, basically all of the women in my family, their middle names are Anne. And when I was born, Emily Anne didn't sound right. So, and my sister's middle name is Anne. And my dad didn't want another Anne. And so they actually named me after my dad. My dad's middle name was Joseph, and so I became Emily Jo. Mm. And that makes me very happy. And that was such a, it used to be really embarrassing growing up because when I would say my name in school or if someone read my full name, it was like, Joe, that's a boy's name. And every single time I would be like, um, mine is spelled J-O. Not J O E. So, whatever. <laughs> I love my name though. I really do. All right, those two little stitches are done. Um, and I can show you. It was supposed to be. So, technically, it would be four back stitches because it goes over one, two, three, four squares. Sorry, my camera is not focusing very well. Um, but because it's right there and I don't want them to get lost in the purple, I just did like a straight stitch over both of those. Hopefully it shows up better when I'm editing. I might be able to like crisp up the image a little bit. Maybe I'm just being, I'm just, I'm just being too nitpicky. It does not have to be perfect. Not everything is perfect nor does it need to be perfect. I also keep like, you guys can't see it, but I keep tilting my head like up towards my camera as if the microphone is hanging off of the stand, but my microphone is right here. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, continue on. What does your name mean? I kind of answered that. Um, I used to know, Emily used, I used to know what Emily meant. Here, I'll just like look it up. My computer is open. There's a great site called Name Meaning. Can you hear my keyboard clicking? I have like a gamer keyboard, so it like clicks. Ah, BehindTheName.com. I actually had to use this in college because I took a like language and um, dialect class. And part of that was we, we had to like look up names and the meaning of names ah yes that's right so emily is the feminine form of emilius so think emil uh la, 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 la. what else not common until after german people which is which i kind of knew my family is german um my family did immigrate from Germany to the United States, so it's really not surprising, actually, that I have a German name. Um, Princess Amelia Sophia is commonly known as Emily in English, but Amelia is an unrelated name, which is really funny, though. But that's pretty much it. It doesn't actually say, like, what it means. It's just the feminine form of Emil and was coming after a, a princess from Germany, it looks like. But people think this name is, the top three is natural, wholesome, and refined, and then the next three are classic, youthful, and simple. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but there you go. <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. Sorry, I'm clicking a bunch because now I need to like re... No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whatever, there we go, fine. Just stop touching everything and leave. <laughs> Um, are you named after one? I just explained that I'm named after my dad, at least middle name wise. Um, 
my mother wanted to name me Olivia. I was supposed to be Olivia, but my dad vetoed that. And thank God he did. <laughs> Does, I don't look like an Olivia and I don't act like an Olivia. Does your name, <clears throat> goodness, what is going on with my, let me drink some water. Does your name make any interesting anagrams? I've never actually tried to do this before. I've never even thought about it. Um, so an anagram is when you take the letters of a word or words and you scramble them to make other words. And I have honestly never thought of doing an anagram of my own name. I have a lot of vowels. I have a lot of E's <clears throat> in my name. And if you were to take all four of my names, because I've kept, I kept my maiden name when I married and with my husband's last name, I've got basically every letter of the alphabet. So I have never actually tried. I'm sure you could, but I don't know. Maybe I'll sit down and figure that out one of these days, but... I'm not really interested in doing it right now. Ah, I just pulled it out because I wasn't paying attention. The next one is, if you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? Um, this is actually funny because for a while, I think middle school, I actually went through this like really weird phase where I kept wanting to change my name to Catherine. Catherine with a K. And I actually introduced myself to people for a little while as Catherine. I'm not quite sure why I did this. <laughs> Looking back on it, like, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with the name Emily and there's nothing wrong with the name Catherine. Just now that I'm an adult, I'm looking back at like what? 11 12 year old Emily was doing and like why why did I introduce myself as Catherine to these people it definitely got me labeled as like a weirdo because I did it at school like we'd have a new kid at school and I'd be like hey my name's Emily but you can call me Catherine like what <laughs> that's so weird and do you know how confusing that is for like a new kid who's just trying to like fit in <sighs> we were all weirdos when we were that age, weren't we? I think we all did really funny things to try and be cool or make ourselves feel better about like whoever we were at that time. Gosh, it's been 20, almost 25 minutes my end, and I've only done a few stitches because I've been so rambly and so... <laughs> anxious. Do I need this? Possible. We'll leave that there. One, two, three, four. Plus it helps with counting because um, in some of the groups I'm in one back stitch is half a stitch. So I would have to do two to equal one and because this covers the space of two I count that as one. It would go one, two, but it, it takes up that whole length. And so that's why I count it because it's twice the distance. Does that make sense? Or am I just talking really, really weird? Whatever. One, two, three, four. What color do I want to do now? I need to do like this peachy color this peachy color yes okay 
So that is thirty-eight twenty-four light apricot. Uh oh. I wonder if I put it back in my bobbin box. I bet I did. I wonder if I like borrowed it for another project and I just never brought it back. Hmm, I don't need that. Oh, and you can see how I wind up extra thread. So I've got my bobbin because this is a cutoff like I pulled a strand, this is what's left, it's still usable. I have folded it in half. And they, here where this little loop end is, I will loop it through the hole at the top. Oops. And then feed it through. And then I just wrap it around the bobbin per no, this one is a really loose right here. Um, I do that because then I can look at it um, and I can see just by looking at it that um, I already have like a working thread. I don't want to get up and go get that, but I probably should. I'm going to go look. Okay, hang on. Okay, I totally forgot that my bobbin box is on my stitchy cart, and so I paused the video and got up and wandered around for a little bit trying to find it. <laughs> Just to remember that it's here. What number is this again? 3824? Ah, oh, yep. Here it is. Thirty-eight twenty-four light apricot. And this was before I did my loopy method, so I have a working thread. I have a really bad habit of leaving my needle on the back of my piece and then looking around going, where's my needle? Duh. Oh, since we're talking about names, this will be fun. I'll do this in this video. This will be all, and I'll put a little incentive for people if you care. Um, so, why did I name my channel Snark and Spark? And how did I get some of my nicknames? So, yeah. Get that out of the way. after a count. Um, and generally I prefer the loop start method, but on a project like this where I have so many different color changes and I don't use all of the working thread. Um, I would much rather just use the working, what's left of the working thread than to like completely cut a new piece. Yeah, like it just, I don't know. I don't like to be wasteful. And I know floss isn't that expensive, but still I don't, I don't like to be wasteful and I don't want to be wasteful. So I try to be conscientious of that.
This is being really finicky. Goodness. There we go. Gosh. Sorry about that. Because this doesn't want to lay flat, I'm going to keep flipping it over for a little bit just to make sure that those get stitch over because it definitely does not want to lay flat at all. Yeah, that's good. Plus, there's only four stitches in this, like, row, so. Um, I am going up one because the pattern, in the pattern on this particular book, the second row has just two stitches of a light purple, and I don't want to forget to do this one odd little stitch on the end of that. So, that's why I did that. Okay, so, why did I name my channel Snark and Spark? Well, because one of my nicknames is Sparky. Um, my husband actually <clears throat> gave me that nickname when we were dating. I don't quite remember how it got started, like what, what prompted him to call me Sparky, I honestly don't quite remember it. Um, I'm, I think it was something along the lines of my personality and I'm very vibrant and energetic. Um, um, and you know, bright and I, yeah. So he nicknamed me Sparky and it is just like an ongoing thing. Um, if I log on to Netflix and you know it pops up like who's watching it does not say my name it says Sparky <laughs> so <laughs> there's that um, but I have also been described as snarky because I do have a bit of a mouth <laughs> and I am very quick-witted and clever and would I have been known to come up with not insults but to have comebacks um, that aren't necessarily mean but kind of warns you off a little bit and I was being particularly snarky one day and my then boyfriend, now husband, was like, wow, you're a snarky little sparky today. And it just stuck. And ever since then, um, he'll call me snarky sparky. And I find it really cute. It's really silly, but I find it cute and I don't mind. Um, I will usually, a lot of my like accounts, I used to I would use the name like Snarky Sparky as my login and people would call me Sparky um, like if I was gaming or something. So yeah, I uh, and I, I go by, I play some games with my husband and friends and I go by Sparky when we're like in online lobbies and stuff. So yeah, um, that's just kind of what it is and I decided that I wanted to incorporate that into my social media um, when I started to really get interested in creating a floss tube and my Instagram. So um, instead of doing Snarky Sparky, I thought it would, I would shorten it to just Snark and Spark and that would hopefully kind of be a description of what I'm, I'm wanting to provide what I want to like show you guys and what I want to give to you guys of I want to show you my snarky side but I also want to show you the stuff that I can create you know my my spark my my spark of brilliance um, and that you know you don't have to be perfect you don't have to be like the cute little 
girly princess to create or to do certain hobbies. Um, I am far from girly, and yet I am. I love to cross stitch. I love. I'm. I am very much a feminist, and there's nothing wrong with that. Feminist is not a dirty word, and yet, but like I don't find this. Like everyone can cross stitch. You know, there are no rules that say only women or only old women or only women of a certain, what, monetary status or skin color can stitch. Like, stitching is for everyone. You can be a guy, you can be a girl, you can be transgender, you can be cisgender, you, you can be black, white, um, Asian, any POC. You don't have to be one set demographic to enjoy a hobby. And I just wanted to really showcase that with my channel, that it doesn't have to just be one set way, just because maybe that's what we're used to it being seen as. Um, but also, I do really just like to be snarky sometimes. I'm, I wonder if you heard that. That's my son. He's upstairs playing, and I think he was just, like, jumping on something. <laughs> I do have to brag on my son for a little bit. He has been... So, for eight years old, he has been so incredibly um, understanding about me filming, especially, like, it's a Saturday at, like, lunchtime now, and I talked to him this morning, I was like, hey, I would really, mommy really wants to film, he knows I have a YouTube channel, I was like, mommy really wants to film a video for her YouTube channel, um, and I would need you to be quiet because I'm going to be talking. So if you want to go upstairs and play, that's fine with me. And then afterwards, you know, we could have like movie time or TV time. Um, especially when mommy's editing, you can be down here when I'm editing and we could have, you know, you could have some TV time. And he was like, oh yeah, cool. No problem. I understand. And just immediately went upstairs and is in his playroom, which is so nice. Because... Um, that I don't feel bad like it's like I didn't banish him but he's just like no I understand you need to film so I'll go upstairs and then he'll come down later and he'll be like did you film and he at this age still thinks it's really cool that his mom has a YouTube channel and will even be like and when he sees me editing he'll be like can I can I watch it can I can I see what you've edited so far it's very cute. He's very supportive. Both of my boys are very, very supportive, and that's such a wonderful feeling. I'm just stitching away on this. Hopefully, I'll probably check the pattern soon to make sure I haven't <laughs> gone over what I'm <laughs> supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know how many rows I'm supposed to do of this color. Here, I'm going to count real quick. Kind of went on a tangent there about my boy. I got distracted. Eight. Eight. Up. How many have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have two more rows. This thread is not going to get me two more rows. Um, it'll get me one more, and then I'm going to have to start a new one, but that's okay, because um, after this, I have one less place to use this peachy color, and it's like for a pin over here, and then I'm done with that color, and then I can put it away. I'm really hoping to finish this piece. Um... I mean, all of the pieces that I'm going to be working on this year, I'm really hoping to finish this year. So, I'm pretty sure this is on my Wipco board, but it hasn't been called yet. So, but if it did, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Okay, we're going to get these two stitches, and then I'm going to have to change and get a new thread. I really play thread chicken. Probably way more than I should, but I do. I 
Okay, I got so off track, but about names. I think that's pretty much it. I've been wanting to explain my name for a while because it doesn't, if you see it, it doesn't necessarily strike you as a channel about like crafting. Definitely not necessarily about like cross stitch. Um, I honestly don't know what people think when they see my, my channel name. Let me know. I guess, yeah, tell me when you saw my channel name what you thought this was going to be. <laughs> or like what you thought it meant. <laughs> let's see let's answer a few more questions and then i want to wrap this up it's um 40 minutes my time and i still need to edit it i would really like to upload this today which is again january 23rd saturday january 23rd it is lunchtime here and i do have an eight-year-old who's going to want to eat coffee's getting cold and I don't like to drink cold coffee. I just like to drink coffee pretty much any time of day. Uh, I just don't want cold coffee. Oh no, where'd my thread go? Oh, my phone's on it. Duh. Oh, that was a big thump. <laughs> I have a feeling he's like jumping off things he's not supposed to be jumping off of. So I'm gonna have to address that as well. Okay, let's go back to these questions. I guess let's answer a couple more and then I'll call it quits for today and I will mark like on this sheet somehow what question I got to. Um, where are you from? So, the United States. <laughs> I... Born and raised in the United States. Not from anywhere cool. My, like I said, my family originally has German roots. Um, we also have Irish roots. Um, one of my grandmothers was able to track pretty much where we came from, like where the family originally came from in Germany and where the family originally came from in Ireland which is really, really cool. And um, I also do have Native American family, which is also very, very cool. Um, I feel like that part of my heritage gets overlooked a lot, but I, also, I do want to pay homage and respect to that and to my ancestors um, who were here. Um, I believe one, it was one of my Irish grandmothers married a Native American man, much to the displeasure of her parents but you know what screw them <laughs> love is love and obviously if that hadn't happened i wouldn't have been here so that's it's not um i am not ashamed of it but it's also not something i want to go around and announce because there is so much hate against indigenous people and um so much crime against indigenous people, especially indigenous women. And it's something I feel very, very strongly about, even though I don't, how do you say this? People stereotype, they do. They, they stereotype and they make biases and prejudices based off your appearance. And I am this little white girl that I don't look like I have any native to me because I am naturally very light-skinned and that's very hard if you look at <clears throat> if you look at some of my relations there isn't that um, questioning and so it's very hard because I have tried to share before and I immediately get questioned because I don't look it I don't look Native American and so it gets questioned and that's wrong if someone tells you their identity someone tells you their identity Anyways, I just went on a really big tangent. <clears throat> Sorry. I have a lot of strong feelings about a lot of topics, and that is part of where the snarky comes from. Because I have definitely, I am definitely hitting a point in my life where 
I do not feel like I need to be shushed for my opinions. Um, and I don't have to be ashamed of my opinions that I am allowed to speak my truth. So I have been trying to do that and to be more assertive with things and less shy. Time and place. Anyways, where was I born? I was born in Indiana. Specifically, I was born in Evansville, Indiana. In 1994. I am about to turn 27 this year. It doesn't feel like it. But it does. But that's, that's when it was. Okay. Where did I grow up? <clears throat> Again, I grew up in Evansville, Indiana. I spent all of my life there. <laughs> um, I spent many a summer in Mount Vernon, Indiana, because that is where my grandmother lived and where some of my aunts and uncles lived and I would go and I would spend about a week at a time, maybe two weeks at a time with my grandmother in her big old, not air conditioned house when I was a kid <laughs> and sweat my summer away there. <laughs> and obviously as I got older, um, I didn't want to do it as much, but when I was a kid going to my grandmother's house for a week was like the best thing ever because I got to play outside all day and run around and pretty much do whatever I wanted and from the moment I got up to the moment it was bedtime and I got to hang out with my grandmother and she would make us all the tasty food and snacks and treats and basically never said no because that's what grandma does and I had very very fond memories of of baking cookies with her and being in her kitchen on my little step stool and helping in her little kitchen and her making me very specific snacks <laughs> like cheese on crackers and <laughs> things like that and I would go to Bible school like she would send me to like children's like Bible camp in the evenings oh. Oh, do you hear the dogs they're like Eisen Howard he's barking over a toy hang on <coughs> goodness Resume my filming and immediately cough. I don't apologize. I don't know why I have, I'm have. i having so much chest congestion. But goodness. This happens to me like every day. But normally it's done by now. Um, Eisenhower is barking because he wanted to play. Because he is our boxer husky mix. And he is highly energetic. He wanted to play. And Kennedy who we are getting DNA tested and we just were told that it'll take about two to three weeks to get her. We just got an email from the company saying they've got her stuff, they need to clean it and separate it and analyze it and that'll take about two to three weeks. But she is our lazy bones. <laughs> and I walked in there and she was just like lounging on the couch <laughs> and he was trying to get her to play. So I sent them outside because she'll play outside and that'll keep them occupied for a little bit. Time to count stitches. Okay, so I am about 40 stitches away, 39 exactly, from getting the goal of what I need to be the 500 on this. But I have been going for almost an hour, and I said I wanted, I only wanted to do about 30 minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to stop it here. I feel really good about the progress I've made, but I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to reheat my coffee. I'm going to make some lunch for uh, myself and the boy, and then I'm going to stitch some more. So yeah, uh, hopefully I will have this uploaded and I should probably pause this timer. 
<laughs> but, but, so we were at like what 22 something we are now at 21 hours and 24 minutes <laughs> we'll get there we'll get there but um i'm gonna pause things here for now and uh hopefully yes i'm gonna work on um editing this and getting this uploaded today that is my goal so hopefully um you guys will be seeing this soon and i will chat with you later so normally i feel like i feel really weird i want to do my normal like outro but i'm not looking at a camera and it feels really weird so but um Oh my gosh, can you hear that? He has like a little ninja dummy upstairs that he's hitting, so I definitely need to end this. But happy stitching, happy reading, happy listening, happy watching. Um, I will be back shortly. So until then, be easy with your hearts. <laughs>